Hey guys, I'm starting a new project and I got a stack of pallets for free. So let's make something with these. <laughs> these videos please like and subscribe if you got any questions leave them in the comments below All right, so now that I got them all um, kind of loosely tightened down just so that they're not gonna move, I can look at this intersection. Okay, so here's the intersection. And if I push on the back string, you see how they both move? And then if I push on this one, they both move. So that tells me that they're not in plane. So I'm gonna make some adjustments. So I'm loosening this guy up. And then I'm going to pull them out one click and tighten them back down. Now you see how we're getting better? So this is where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to tighten down all the bolts now. See how there's, it's almost perfect. Now they should be in plane with each other and we can sight down it and see how they disappear. Uh, so this one disappears at the same time as that one, that end, shows us that they're in plane with each other. I got the L feet screwed on using uh, two and a quarter inch lag screws and these are galvanized lag screws on an aluminum bracket so there's probably going to be some uh, reaction but I had those uh, so they didn't cost me anything uh, they're a little bit loose right now until I get the bar across and then I can tighten them up this is the setup I'm using uh, these one inch long bolts are just slightly too long to fit through this aluminum and into that channel without going all the way in so that's why I've got uh, two flat washers and a lock washer on it. This is the special stainless steel washer that I picked up to go into that T-slot. So what I do is I just feed this in at the end. See, just like that. It goes in the end. Then I can run it down the channel. And then I'll take this out. Slide the channel over. You see the washer in there? And there I can, I can see it in the opening. And now I can fish this back in. There you go. And I keep them all loose until I have all four in place. Let me show you the trick I'm using to try to make sure these are in plane with each other. I don't want to twist the solar panels. So I've got this string run across all four corners and then we can check the intersection right in the middle. And if you notice, there's a gap between the two. So what that means is they're out of plane. So we need to bring them into plane. So you can see I adjusted this one so it's sticking out a little bit. 
That actually will not interfere with the solar panel because there's a recess gap at the back of the solar panel and you only care about where the frame of the panel hits the rail which is going to be back here. But let's check the intersection now and if you can see I'm going to touch the string and you see how the two don't move with each other. There's just this very light kiss of the two strings. That's what you're going for. And that tells us that the two rails are in plane with each other. And then you can also look down at as the bottom one disappears but behind the top one, you want both edges. You want down here to disappear at the same time as back there. And that's what we have. So they're in plane with each other. Real nice. Shouldn't uh, twist those panels at all when I tighten them down. Hey, kudos to you if you correctly guessed what these pallet frames were being used for. Uh, I am installing a 3.1 kilowatt array. Uh, this is going to produce some electricity and I'm doing it on the cheap. Uh, these panels I got off Craigslist. The rails with the panels off Craigslist. Uh, the pallets I got for free, uh, I had to buy some hardware, but we're doing this entire project, uh, <laughs> you know, really, really cheap. These solar panels are actually nine years old. Uh, the guy who sold them to me actually took them off of a roof uh, because that project was being updated. And they, the, uh, the owners of that project didn't want to put the old panels back on, so they bought a whole new array, but this, these panels still work. Stay tuned, it's going to be a multi-part series. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a lot of fun. You know, this is a temporary setup. This is ballast, meaning that I got the weight on the pallets. These are not a permanent foundation. Um, it's not going to be grid-tied. Uh, it's just going to be my own kind of off-grid little fun project. And, uh, and I hope to learn some things along the way because I'm not an expert at this. Uh, so we're going to have some fun. If you have uh, suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me.